Hello, what is up? We have got an Avengers tier, tier list to, uh, for the my favourite movies. Um, just to be clear, I've watched every single one of these movies, so um, yes. Yeah, so let's start off with the first one. Um, no heading into this suddenly, but what, whatever. We've got Guardians of the Galaxy Volume uh, 2. I'm not going to put that in the area. I'm just like holding it. Um... I mean, I watched that movie. I like Baby Groot. I like how Yondu and Peter's relationship. I like how secretly we learn that Ego um, had been like trying to make children across the whole galaxy, and uh, oh, uh, yeah, spoilers. Sorry about that. Spoilers. Before we get in, before we get in, spoilers. I just have to say because I almost started blabbering. Okay, so if you already didn't know, spoilers for everything. Okay, but anyway, yeah, um, one of my favourite things is that um, Ego actually has been tr- trying to create children all across the galaxy um, and has been killing them when they have not um, had their, his in- celestial... Um, they haven't... They didn't... Um, uh, what's it called? Inherit his celestial being powers. So they, so he killed them all. And then he, and then, um, he, he made Peter, Peter Quell, Star Lord, with um Star Lord's mom. And then, uh, once that happened, he Yondu took him. Yondu basically took him, and tried to protect him and. It, it, I think it's a pretty good movie. It's not my favourite, but I'll put it in B tier, to be honest. Ant-Man, it's not one of my favourites, but it's kind... I, I like it. I can't say it's my favourite, but I like it. I don't think it... I don't think it's better than it, but I think it's in the same category. I like it. I like how Ant-Man is like... um. It's work, well, yeah, I don't think, uh, if you guys just watch these movies for fun, which everybody, well, everybody watches basically does, uh, and you don't, like, go deeper into the picture, then you won't understand what, what I'm basically saying. And man at the beginning of the movie, will learn that he, he worked for a company that actually scammed their customers, and then he broke a bunch of, like, he knew it was the right thing, but he, uh, this is Scott Lang, oh, he broke all the files and stuff, and he crashed his boss's car into a pool, and, and he knew he did the right thing, and I agree, except for the boss's car thing, I don't know what was the point of that, because they were scamming people, and then, uh, we find out that he gets released from prison, and then, well, I think he breaks out, I haven't watched it in a while, and, um, it's called, uh, he gets to pin part cause. We learn about going microscopic uh, between molecules. It, it's just really cool to d- to go deeper into it, like like see new realms, like the nine realms from Asgard that introduced us from Thor, um, the the Sorcerer Supreme, the the what's it called, the uh, Dark Dimension, the Dark Court, Wonder Vision, and Doctor Strange, and many other things. The Collector's Vault. Uh, it's, it's just a lot of things, so I'm gonna put it right here. Avengers: Age of Ultron. That's that's probably I've heard a lot of bad stuff about it. People are calling it people is it's not people's favorite Avengers movie, but I actually really love it. I'm not gonna put it in C tier, but this may surprise people. But I'm gonna put it in A tier. I like it. It's not gonna be in S tier. It's not. It's it's not bad. It's it's really good. I'd say. But it's not phenomenal, if you know what I mean. The Avengers, uh, the original one, it's not my favourite, to be honest. They're all grouping up, they're all angry at at each other in the beginning. Which I kind of, I know it's obviously because they just met and stuff. And um, when when Tony was younger, um, his dad always talked about Captain America since he helped create him, basically. Make him really strong and he helped him have the shield and stuff and he always talked about him and and yeah he got annoyed at that and then they were all just angry in general and stuff and it's not a bad movie it's a really good one um but i'm not sure where to put it i mean i have to put it in here to be honest okay that's my decision um 
Ant-Man and the Wasp. I recently tried to watch this on my PS4 on, like, uh, what's it called? Uh, da, 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 da. What's it called? You can go into movies, watch Disney+, Plus, Netflix, audio, and stuff. And I went on to Disney+, Plus, and for some reason, it keeps lagging out and stuff. And my, my internet's perfect. I go into test internet connection. Fine. But it's not working for some reason, and... I only got to watch part of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, episode 4. I know what happens, obviously, but some of the parts, it glitched out and it froze for, like, 10, 30 seconds or something like that. And, yeah, some of the good fight scenes, like, with the Wakandans, um, yeah. Did, I, did you know that... Okay, I'm not going to go off track anyway, but... Uh, sorry, I almost went off track for a second, but anyway. And, and the Wasp, that's a really good movie, um... I actually, it's just really good. I like it. Uh, it introduces us um, to many things. It actually mentions like nanotech um, and all that stuff. And also, they find the mom, uh, Hope's mom, inside of it. We have Ghost who, who's like glitching out of reality. And Scott Lang has an extremely luckily um, attempt when he goes in the quantum realm in the for particles for the ghost to help her, her stop being like all glitchy and stuff in the in the post credit scene but then um hope uh his dad uh her dad and her mom got snapped and then he's stuck in there for five years but five hours for him since it's all that and it's really interesting to be honest i'd put it in here black panther now before i do this R.I.P. Chadwick, you're an amazing actor. This is this is one of the best uh, box office films ever. I love it. It, it uh, introduces us to Alysis Claw. Uh, I, I like his character. That was in Age of Ultron as well. It introduces to Vibranium. Well, that's already been briefly mentioned, but it's all over in this movie. We learn how it can like absorb stuff and and how there was a whole country, the Black Panther mantle, um, uh, King T'Challa's uh, uh, Black Panther's dad, uh, T'Chaka got ki- uh, King T'Chaka. Da da da. What's it called? What's it called? Uh, killed his brother and then the nephews all mad. Uh, Killmonger's all mad, and it's just a really good film in general. I. I wouldn't say it's as good as Ant-Man and the Wasp. I wouldn't say it's as good as Age of Ultron, but it's really good. It, it is really. Now, Captain America and the First Avenger. This is the it's, this is the Marvel movie I've been watching like three times. I've watched this three times in the last in this last week. I love it. I was like, I haven't watched it in a while. I'm just gonna watch it again. And then I forgot how re- really good this movie is because not uh, literally. It's well, I know it doesn't. I wish I could say it set up the MCU, but that was Iron Man. But it's one of the... Obviously, it doesn't start the MCU, but in timeline-wise, it was in, like, 1940s. But that didn't even start it. It was at the Big Bang with all the Infinity Stones and how um, a meteor hit the uh, Wakanda with a vibranium. And But anyway, yeah, it literally... If... The events in it are just crazy, to be honest. There's so many details that I find. I like the ba- the villains. I like how Hydra is developing, and like I like Doctor Zola, to be honest. Bucky falls off, and to be honest, I was thinking, hmm, how did Bucky survive the fall, and how because he didn't get go go in ice, and how did he keep his age for about sixty years or something like that as a, a what's he called a hunter for Hydra, but then. Then, from breakdowns and videos and stuff and interviews that I watched from, like, um, Kevin Feige and the producers and all that on YouTube and stuff, I realised <clears throat> that uh, I watched in the movie when he, he was being experimented on by Dr Zola, he fell off the bridge, his arm f- got cut off and he survived because he had chemicals in him that had dr zola then hydra found him and then there was a weapon then they put him in ice for like 20 years and then he got him out ice for 20 years um after 10 years and stuff and they kept him young to be honest but he's one of my favorite characters to be honest well not one of my favorite ones one of my favorite ones out of the um not the whole franchise but the Captain America movies, and he's one of my favourite characters in general, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put it... And also, the, the, it's the origin story of Captain America, and if if these events didn't go down, a lot would have changed. 
Uh, it would have bombed New York if he didn't put it in the ice. Um, the Avengers wouldn't have Captain America. Uh, a lot of things would have changed. Oh, so many stuff. But, uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to put it in... Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'd say, all right. So, basically, they're in order, so, to be honest. So, say if it's here, the Avengers is here, that's uh, the worst. Well, no, it, it's basically, it's not gonna supposed to be the worst. It's supposed to be the worst out of the box. So, if it's at the bottom, it's supposed to be the worst out of the box. Uh, I'm just going to change this here. Right there, and then, um, and I also love the action in it as well, the Captain America and the First Avenger. Um, yeah, that's basically it uh, for that box, and then Captain America Civil War, this basically, i got to say something quickly, Zemo, who was the villain, basically, in the story, literally, I, I know it sounds ridiculous, but he's basically more powerful than Thanos. And it's insane, and he's not more f- powerful than Thanos in like um, like really strong ways or anything in his brains because he he um he like uh broke up the Avengers from the inside because if you didn't know why he did that, his family died in Sokovia by the when they were fighting Ultron, and he wanted revenge, and he was able to break them apart from the inside. From the inside out, and um, the film producers um, like Mark Russo, uh, the Russo brothers, um, Kevin Feige, and all that revealed that they didn't they didn't win an Infinity War because they weren't all together, but in Endgame they won because they were all together, and yeah, and I love the Sokovia Accords how it breaks up the Avengers. Not really though, but. I like how there's conflict and stuff. I like action as well. And I always I always played with my toys when I was little. My little Captain America toy and my Spider-Man toy, wishing they would fight. And this movie just gave me it all. I was, sitting, I was sitting in movie theaters like, oh my gosh. I was only six at the time. But I was like, oh, Captain America's beating him up. I didn't really understand what was happening. Only that, the Avengers were beating themselves up. Because it was only when eight, when I, it was, I was only eight, which was two, up to two and a half years ago, two half, two and a half, almost three years ago, I started l- de- looking into it deeper. When I got at the movie uh, cinemas um, for Infinity War, I started going deeper into Marvel. I realised it wasn't just people saving the day and stuff. It was a lot more than that. I realised the plot, the story, and it's just really cool. But I'm, I'd rate this as um here. I'd say Captain Marvel. I mean, I haven't watched the full thing of. I I only I watched about literally ninety seven percent of it. I only didn't watch five minutes of it. I like the flurkin. I like how she's expert. The cray. We have new species. We have new. Uh, okay, so the tesseract and inje- uh, she shoots her, and then she gets injected with powers like Jane Foster in D- Thor: The Dark World, and like that. And then she's rev- literally. It, um, it shows us more about the cray and I mean scrolls. Yeah, they they were weren't revealed to be the true here. True villains, like, kind of like Spider-Man Far From Home, to be honest. Can't wait for No Way Home, the new Spider-Man movie, to come out. I wouldn't rate it as my best one, though, to be honest. I wouldn't rate it better than God, than the, the Avengers, to be honest. Uh, I'll keep it there. It's not that I hate... I don't hate any of these movies. It's just the worst out of... I love them, but it's the worst out of my favourite. Do the Dark World... People don't really like this, I'm pretty sure, and I I actually quite like it. Shows us, shows us uh, Jodenheim. It shows us um, the Dark World. It shows us how the the Dark Elves have been sleeping for a long time. It shows us um, Thor's great grand. Uh, wait, it shows Thor's grandfather and Odin's father, Bor, how he defeated the Dark Elves, and how at the beginning of the universe they were mad because 
life started and light came to the universe and um what's it called um bah, bah, bah. and they had to wear masks when they were in the light and stuff and it i just i actually quite like it and it exposed as a uh, malekith actually made the what's it called the power stone no not the power stone sorry um reality stone i'm off track today i'm just thinking of this in my head to be honest i didn't have a script for this i I usually write it down on a piece of paper for me to say and then yeah but yeah um revealed the reality stone is um is turned into sludge by malekith a couple thousand years ago to like inject or something i'd rate i wouldn't say uh, it's pretty good i i i wouldn't I mean, I really like black. You know what? I'm actually doing this. I mean, it just it, I really like it, but I don't think it can go higher than these. I love Ant Man and the Wasp as well, but I just love Black Panther, Captain America: Civil War, Captain America: The First Avenger. Love Age of Ultron. Love it. But oh wait, wait, did I accidentally move something? Oh, oopsie. Okay, but Doctor Strange. All right, th- I know it's not my favorite movie in general, general, but it shows us so much more story stuff, and it shows us about the the dark dimension, the dark court. It shows us about the ancient one, how it um she she actually stole some like life or something from the dark dimension, so she's really old. That's how, and then his followers, uh, D- Dormammu. Dormammu is the pa- most powerful. I'd say most powerful villain in the MCU. Like literally, he controls the dark dimension. He can teleport Thanos here, and the only reason that uh Doctor Strange didn't even win, he Dormammu just got. I know it sounds uh, uh, insane, but just go on YouTube, search why Dormammu is the most powerful villain, and you've got to get all your answers done. And Dormammu didn't even lose. He he just killed Doctor Strange. Uh, Doctor Strange uses the time stone to reverse time. He did it again, reverse time, did it again, and he just got really annoyed. So he, he was willing to let go. And then we introduced portals, sling rings, other realms. And I just love it. But it's not my favourite movie, to be honest. Uh, I like it more than Ant-Man. A little bit more than Captain Marvel. It's one of my mum's favourites, to be honest. Um, to be honest, I like how he crashes and moves his hands. And he's like, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's kind of like that, I guess. And now we have Avengers Endgame. Now, when it was the portal scene, um, when I watched Cat Falcon and the Winter Soldier, um, all that, and we watched um, stuff like that, and it, I always hear, on your left, on your left, on your left, and I actually love it. And then, when the Hulk snapped, and they were all at battle, I was like, where the hell are the other heroes that just got snapped back? Are they like, oh, what just happened? Or, like, I'm not even kidding. But how did it take Doctor Strange that long to realise what was happening? Because, I don't know, I won't question it. But, when I was in the movie cinemas and I heard, on your left, literally, I looked like my face was going to explode with excitement. And, I I was about to jump up, literally, but I was in the movie cinema, so I had to stay down by myself. I was like... In my head, I was like, oh, my God, what on earth is happening? Oh, my God, this portal's open up. Oh, my God. I was like that. And, uh, yeah, I was like, oh, my gosh. And I loved it. And, and I, Iron Man's not my favourite hero, but I love that arrogant Tony Stark. And one of my favourite lines came back. I want a classic American cheeseburger. I want cheeseburger. Yeah, he's a real trans... He he came uh, he came from a what's called a reluctant hero, um, basically an arrogant guy, a uh, very selfish arrogant guy, kind of like Wolverine at the start, and then they start to care for thing for people and things, and then they bec- they learn to be good and stuff, and then they sacrifice themselves, and they both die. I'm sad, and also I love cow. To be honest, I had a nightmare about Captain America turning old because I knew it was the life he wanted, obviously, but I knew it was the life he wanted in 1945 
with the dancing, and I actually kind of really love that music from like 1945. Being like, I actually kind of like that. I wish I lived in the 1940s. Well, I wouldn't get when I get bombed by Nazis. But I like the music, to be honest. And uh, yeah, he he got able he was able to live his life. But I really, I that he's my favorite superhero, and I was like, uh, uh, well, uh, I don't really want him to give it over to to Falcon. I, I have no problem with Falcon. I have no uh, problem with Sam. He's amazing. I actually really like Sam. He's really cool. But uh, I, you can't develop that quick. I literally had a nightmare about it. He's my favorite character. To see him old and not doing it anymore. And to be honest. Erskine said that um, he, he's supposed to grow, um, he's supposed, if he to be grow old, if he was grow, growing older, it would take slower, so if he was like 76, he would still look like in his in his 50s, or for, like very late 40s, or 50s, if he was in his 70s, or 60s, and he looks really old, so he might have lived like 90 years, to be honest, he pr- when he went back in time, he probably died like 12 years before Peggy, because he grew 12 years with the Avengers, and then he probably died before her, but anyway, yeah, there's so much character development, I love how Thanos is all like, oh, um, I re- really love Thanos, all the characters, it'll take a very long time to explain all of it though, and I'm putting it on S tier so far, Thor Ragnarok, instant me and my mom love this movie love led zeppelin your lightning and led zeppelin will fail you brother how it should have ended animated and stuff you really watch it it's really fun your lightning and led zeppelin have failed you brother and like a couple months ago Lightning and Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin, like, like lightning, like, um, really, really strong lightning or something. And then I, I watched Far from Far, Spider-Man Far from Home, and I realised it was the guy who made Iron Man music, and I just feel so stupid now. And I love his music, to be honest. Now, <laughs> and literally, um, it discovers his powers, doesn't need his hammer. I liked his hammer, to be honest, but he can do it with his hands now. Um, I like his, I really love his armor. I love how he's like a goofball now. I love it. I, I didn't really like when he was all serious and stuff. Sometimes I did, but oh, sorry, there's a fly here. Where are you, fly? Oh, just smacked that fly across the room. Okay, but anyway, yeah. Love his armor. He's a goofball now. He's lit. I love him. I love how he felt funny as he is. And I love Hulk in this movie. I love Loki. I love Loki, to be honest. He's one of my favorite villains ever. I wouldn't even consider him a villain anymore. He's just one of my favourite characters in general, to be honest. That's a lot of characters, like, to be honest. Guardians of the Galaxy original. Uh, it's not my favourite, but I don't hate it. Oh, no, we're giving Ant-Man some hate. I'd hate... I'd, I don't hate Ant-Man at all. He's my favourite. I love Ant-Man, but... It's just... Uh, it's not my favourite, to be honest. Guardians of the Galaxy. No one chooses another side of the universe. It gives us the Power Stone. Xandar, the, basically the, the space police. Um, Thanos trying to... Uh, the Ronin. But... I just... For some reason, I don't really like it. Incredible Hulk. Uh, that's probably my... I don't like it, just to be honest. Iron Man 3. Um, Terrorist. Um, Mandarin. I, I actually quite like that a little bit. Um, I'll rate it there. I know it just it deserves more credit, but it's just okay. Iron Man Two. I actually quite like this. I like how they introduced Black Widow and the Avengers Initiative and how Rhodey's getting his own suit and I actually quite like it. The original Iron Man. It, not my favorite book. I wouldn't. I wouldn't rate it over Ant Man and the Wasp. 
Civil War, Black Panther, Captain America, Age of Ultron or anything like that. But, um, I will give it... Oh, see, now I put it uh, literally right here, or under the wall. I'm going to put it underneath. Um, this. I'm going to have to put this here. I'd, it, I don't know, I just really don't like it. To put, I don't... I don't really like Iron Man. I do like love his suits. I love him, but some sometimes his solo movies I don't really like. To be honest, for some reason I have a word. Now, uh, let me just quickly put this up here. I'm not sure if it should be above Thor Ragnarok, but I know it's all serious. I love it. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Thor Ragnarok. I love you. I'm loving. Uh, but yeah, it it literally. I, if, the trailer, I, that's, I can't, the trailer was so sick, the whole time I knew him, yeah, do, um, uh, yeah, it's, it, I just loved it. it, this video is long enough so far, so I won't explain it, but, uh, basically the same as Endgame, to be honest, but, uh, no, same reason as Endgame, not the same as Endgame, not trying to be bad or anything. Spider-Man Far From Home, that's the singly, the, the first or second best Spider-Man movie. It's not better than Thor Ragnarok, not better than Endgame, Infinity War, but it is one of my favourite Spider-Man movies. It is, it's either my favourite or my second favourite. That's because of Homecoming. Homecoming is really good, because it's like really good. I like how it's like, come on, Spider-Man, get up, Spider-Man, and stuff. Uh, I'd rate it around here, to be honest. Thor, uh, I like it. I like how the whole... Basically, my whole my favourite thing in the whole movie is it introduces us to stuff like that front frost giants and stuff. But it's not my favourite. I like how the whole hammer, if he, if he be worthy. That's probably my favourite thing about the movie, if he be worthy. I'm just going to try and imitate it right now, so be quiet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just gonna. Oh, oh crap! That isn't good. It's about literally. It's literally bang on midnight right now, and um, I just did that. Crap. Whoever, whoever be worthy. Wait, what does he say again? I forgot. I gotta do it word by word. Whoever be worthy. Wait, wait, I gotta remember. I forget. I've been, I've been talking a lot, and I just forget, I forgot. Music. Whoever left this hammer, if they be worthy, they will possess the power of Thor. That sounded so cool, to be honest. Okay, but anyway, yeah, uh, we have Thor. Um, I'd rate it right here. Captain America the Winter Soldier. I love this to be honest. Love it, love it, love it. Oh sorry. I thought I put it in the wrong place for a second, but I didn't. Oh whoopsie. How do I do this? Alright. Captain America, the last one. I love this to be honest. It's it's one of my favourites. Um yeah, I think that